Hello, welcome, <clears throat> welcome all. Today we have another training session which is very important and interesting as well. As the name suggests, Rig HSC Inspection. It is our today's learning module. Actually, there are many observations and safety points in the rig from the safety perspective. But today we will try to learn some important safety points which all the safety professional should know when he goes to the rig site. What are the deficiencies? What are the observations? What are the problems? And how to advise and what to advise to the recruit. So, welcome again. The topic is Rig HSC inspection. Ensure inventory of all firefighting equipment as per the contract. We have to ensure that what are the mentioned in the contract related to the firefighting equipment. All the firefighting equipment should be present at the rig site before spud and those are following the fire extinguishers the tcp co2 type and uh, fire water pump and fire blankets and um, uh, foam no nozzle which are uh, fitted around the bop and as well uh, the foam uh, uh, spray nozzle also fitted all sides of uh, mud tank and even covering the shell shaker too now further, the monthly inspection checklist, the type of fire, extinguishers and locations. The, we have to ensure that the month, monthly fire extinguisher inspection is being done and uh, the advised locations where the fire extinguishers are located it should be main, mentioned in our inventory as well and that detail should be kept in our computer, the HSC computer. And all the fire equipment to have valid third party inspection tag. And the rig safety officer and any site, the safety professional will conduct the uh, inspection of fire extinguisher monthly. But the, all the fire extinguishers should be uh, inspected also by third party yearly. Yearly. So uh, when the when any project is going to be started, the when the fire extinguishers are purchased or procured, <clears throat> they cannot be directly received by the vendor, and we can. Uh, we cannot um, uh, assign or put the fire extinguishers in uh, our work locations. Before that, the safety professional, the rig safety officer has to, or the rig site management has to send all the, has to send all the uh, fire extinguisher to the third party for inspection. And after the inspection and the result, the accepted fire extinguisher will be received and those fire extinguishers will be placed all around the rig site. And likewise, yearly, those all fire extinguishers will be sent to the third party for the inspection. And the other aspect is the safety officer, the rig safety officer will inspect all the fire extinguishers monthly basis, on monthly basis. And men mention the records on the attached tag or the fire extinguisher. Fire pump test done at rig site, delegated fire team, nominee names are posted and, and all the rig crew should know who are in the fire team or backup team. And the safety officer, rig safety officer has to ensure that the person are included, have been included in the fire team or backup team, they should have the good skill to use the fire extinguisher, they should have the basic fire fighting training, the basic fire fighting training. Fire fighting PP should be placed in a cabinet, easy accessible. Fire drill to be performed prior to spud, both, both of rig site and the main camp here. The fire drill will be conducted at the rig weekly, but the fire drill will be conducted at the main camp monthly. 
once in a month. Inventory of all SCABA equipment as per contract. The monthly inspection checklist with the, with the type of SCABA and locations. Ensure the driller has dedicated airline and SCABA. Ensure SCABA on monkey board secured prevent from the falling. Here we are seeing that the type of SCABA, it means the type of SCABA means uh, as the part, as the, the SCABA stands for self-contained breathing apparatus. The SCABA comes in two different sides, two different types, open circuit and closed circuit. And the open circuit type is the most common, which is used in the most of the locations. But here the type means, the type of SCABA means the 30 minutes minute SCABA, 15 minutes SCABA, and 10 minutes SCABA that is for the scape pack, for the scape type. So this is related to this type of SCABA. And ensure the SCABA on monkey board secured prevent from the falling. We have to ensure that the safety officer has to ensure that the SCBA is located uh, and, and the placed uh, on the monkey board and that should be pressurized. And along with the SCABA, on a monkey board, there should be a um, gasket airline, and that will have uh, two connections only, two connections on the monkey board for the gasket airline. Appropriate warning and safety signs displayed. The rig safety officer has to ensure that the, the required safety warning signs and caution signs have been have been pasted in all the locations where uh, the signs uh, are uh, required. And this um, here's a question actually: Why we uh, use the safety signs or caution signs or warning signs? Because the human mind learns the things more from any image. This is the psychology of human brain. So. The, if, if that is uh, um, uh, uh, related to the chemical area, so we will paste there the safety signs related to uh, chemical, the uh, MSTS, the caution, the required PPE for the chemicals and hazards um, related to chemicals. If that is in elevated area, um, uh, we can use the safety sign there, the falling hazard, the falling hazard over there. So these are all the signs will be pasted as per the location and the hazard requirements. The emergency eye wash stations has been installed and working properly. Fire extinguishers all must be charged in brackets, tagged and sealed. Electrical cords, plugs, receptacles, etc. in good condition. Housekeeping acceptable, no accumulations that present a hazard. All engine exhaust equipped with water sprays or spark arrester for spark suppression. Electrical lights have protective covers. Floors free of grease and tripping hazards. Non-skid material used on the floor or around the rotary table so that it, it could save from the sleep for the floor man and other, other person on, the, on that area, on the rig floor. Eric Pen must be trained and demonstrate proficiency to use the emergency scape system installed on the rig. The scape system must be inspected on a frequency as required by regulation by a qualified person and the inspection record recorded and reports available for the future inspection by the client or by the third party, by the client uh, safety representative inspection. This is called the, the Geranimo, the, the, that is a scape line of a steel wire from the place of uh, the monkey board to the ground level uh, that is used by the derrick man at the time of any kind of emergencies. For, ex for example, uh, blowout, uh, fire, an H2S release, uh, any other uh, natural uh, hazardous situation. So on that time, the derrick man use, uses that uh, escape line that is also called the Geranimo 
uh, he comes to the uh, ground level and uh, the we have to ensure also the rig safety officer and um, the tool pusher has to ensure that the, the place where the derrick man will land that should be the around of that uh, particular point the place should be clear of any any material or any uh, other any any other hazardous uh, substance and uh, sand uh, boras will be kept over there <coughs> where he will land h2s sensors at designated places inspect and test h2s sensors and alarms ensure breathing air system which includes the cascade bottles scba ba compressor breathing air distribution lines etc are available and working uh, and in working condition ensure availability and condition of safety harness derrick man safety belt man riding harness inner tier reels and other fall protection devices ensure first aid kit and a stretcher is available ensure all lifting gears are inspected and register is maintained ensure all gratings railings ladders are properly installed and with no gaps open space on top mud pits tanks ensure the pre spot meeting is held so uh, the rig personnel or i mean the senior personnel the rig manager the tool pusher and the rig safety officer has to ensure that the pre spot meeting uh, will be held before the spot the spot means the the very first time when the when the crew starts to uh, starts the drilling uh, starts to make the hole on 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 the um, on that area for the drilling so very starting um, this is the starting of a drilling of a well of a well crown saver chronomatic function tested and reported in the ddr ddr means daily drilling report check gauges at driller console in good working condition all rig signs leading to the rig from the main road are posted hold h2s and bop drill to see the crew readiness two mustering points clearly marked on the location any slip trip hazards identified and corrective actions taken twice properly trained to operate the fire extinguisher fire extinguishers no smoking rules enforced and there should be one um, uh, assigned smoking uh, area for the crew um, only that uh, place uh, is for the smoking and uh, uh, except that uh, smoking area are in other places you no know, one can um, smoke or even the electrical electric lighters or anything electrical cigarettes or anything fire extinguisher location is the identified water hose kept away from the generator units and electrical control boxes in generator house material handling equipment care, crane operator and forklift operators trained and certified shell shaker properly guarded mud guns properly secured agitator shafts and couplings properly guarded here actually the agitators uh, which are in the uh, located in the mud tanks and its function is to shake the the, the drilling uh, mud um, here one important point actually all the agitators in the mud tank should be numbered the unique number so uh, so that uh, uh, for that uh, clear identification for the isolation for the isolation purpose because when anybody goes inside the mud tank uh, for any kind of any inspection uh, so this um, the loto should be applied at this agitator because it it's a rotating part of a, of a mud tank so it must be um, isolated okay so that's why all the agitators in the mud tank should be numbered uniquely for clear identification communications equipment should be in good working order before commencing operations accumulator function test conducted date of the last test maintained and recorded electrical cords plugs receptacles it is in good condition and explosion proof and all the um, electrical equipments and electrical parts will be used in the um, uh, uh, rig site that should be explosion proof proof a loudspeaker system is installed 
that can be heard throughout the working area. All driller instrumentation, SDI, geolograph in working condition and calibrated. All SDI panels in TP, tool pusher, company man and senior company man connected and working. Check daily and weekly Derek checklist are in place and completed as required. This checklist will be filled, inspected and filled by the Derek man. Emergency escape chutes is installed and no obstructions are at base and the, and the sandbag is made at the landing place. What I said earlier actually about the uh, um, uh, escape line that is also called the Geronimo. So when any kind of emergency arises, uh, the Derek man uh, evacuates from the monkey boat to the ground level, to the ground. Guy lines are properly installed. This guy line is a steel wire. Actually, it's nothing but a, the guy lines are the steel wire that is uh, used for the stability actually to, um, to the um, elevated structures of the rig and that the other um, the corner is on the, on the land that is secured for the more uh, st good stability. And one more important thing actually, the, uh, these guy lines are uh, um, flagged actually. Flagged means I mean the small piece of uh, uh, warning tapes uh, are tied on the um, on a very small gaps on the, on the guy lines. So, so for the clear visibility for other person, um, for example, any vehicle crane movement or the forklift operation, so that when we uh, tie the small pieces of uh, the warning tapes um, in the guy line, so it is good visibility that uh, it uh, we can see that there is a guy lines or other person can be alert and there is no chances of the clash with the, with the guy lines. And, uh, check that the ladders and the re and resting platforms are properly fastened and in good and in and in accordance with the regulations check general condition of crane cabins uh, walkways and access ladders and stairs ensure blowout preventers are certified and installed with the proper size ramps as per the drilling plan inspect the guidelines are properly installed and test tensioned as per the oem oem stands for original equipment manufacturer requirement Aviation lights at the crown are available and working. That is a bling, blinking light. Actually, everybody uh, know this, knows this. Uh, there is a uh, blinking light is installed on the top of the uh, uh, mast I am on the on the monkey board for uh, the uh, clear vis vis visibility for the any aviation um, services. So that there should there is should not be any chances of any kind of accident. Ensure the rig, all equipment are properly earthed. So all the equipments are in the rig should be earthed. And all the earthing should be, uh, should go and finish in the uh, sailor. BOP properly installed and tested. BOP stack properly secured with diagonal bracings. All unused floor holes covered. There are actually um, the holes on the, uh, for example, we talk about the holes in the rig floor. There are two kinds of holes on the rig floor. One is the mouse hole and uh, another is the rat hole. The rat hole is not used when we use the, uh, we don't use Kaylee and we use uh, TDS, top drive system. When we, when we use top drive system, the, the, the rat hole is not used, but the mouse hole is used. Uh, that is used for uh, the stacking the, the, uh, the stand, the stands. The stand is called, what is a stand actually? The stand is the joint of two or three drilling pipes of uh, uh, pipes, drilling pipes are, uh, is called the stand. So at the time of the tripping, actually we use, um, uh, we, we keep the, um, uh, when, uh, sorry, actually, when we have to uh, make the join the the stands for the drilling, um, the, for the what the stand will be used next, that is already um, kept on the mouse mouse hole, and that is uh, used in the um, uh, for the drilling. Caustic and other hazardous materials properly stored away from other materials. MSDS. Uh, I mean the material safety data sheet or SDS safety data sheet for all these the, the MSDS and SDS both are the same for all the chemicals are present and uh, here one important point actually the MSDS um, will be kept 
um, with the chemical and uh, the site crew has to ensure that the, the uh, warehouse management team has to ensure that uh, when they are receiving any chemical, the chemical should be attached with the, the with the MSDS. If the MSDS is not there, they they should not receive the receive that chemical. And the MSDS will be attached with that chemical where that chemical is stored. When it is handled and when it is used, all the time the MSDS should be present and available with that chemical. And the the uh, there should be a four copies of one msds uh, along with uh, along with the the attaching the with the chemical chemical uh, barrels or chemical bags after after this there should be more four copies of the msds and one copy will be uh, main, main, maintained uh, with the rig safety one with the company man one with the um, tool pusher and uh, one with the rig medic. ASCOM program are in place and practiced. All crew required and mandatory trainings and completed and update and valid training for personal first aid, well control, H2S and others. Certification on file responsibility, how controlled and review process. Uh, the training uh, matrix should be maintained by the rig safety officer. The, what the training is already done and what the uh, what the further uh, mandatory training uh, are um, scheduled in the next months or next coming uh, uh, months actually and when uh, the uh, training certificate uh, is going to expire and when he has to attain the the training um, so all this information should be maintained in the training matrix which is the responsibility of the rig safety officer all employees made aware of safety policies, orientation given to all new employees, method used, posters, etc. V-door guarded, routinely used. When the V-door is uh, being used, then it can be opened. But when the V-door is not being used, that V-door should be guarded. Thank you very much.